Okay, g'day. Eight year old ash tree. One now. Faults DC. Faults AC. And just to show it's still the same. This is Amps DC. Not very spectacular, eh? Now two nails hooked up. Now that one's bright steel and that one's galv. I'm not sure that one's doing that steel's any good. I'll go change that in a minute. What do we got? Right. Volts DC has gone up to nine. Not very great. Volts AC. Volts DC. Now that will climb up quietly. So I'll shut off a minute. Okay. Same nails. She's now gone up to 76, 77. Try over 77. Okay. Let's be like this for 10 minutes now. So. I'm going to stop here, I'm going to change the nail to galv. Okay, I've moved it over onto the galvanised nail and straight away, straight away, up to 0.97. So we know galvanised nails do a much better job than just bright steel. This. Okay. i turn it over now, let's turn it. AC voltage, which is now up to 1.4 and trying to move on up. So those two nails in that tree are giving us Roughly the same AC voltage as one ground battery, one earth battery. The downside is DC amperage is virtually non existent. Okay, okay, by adding another one, two, three, four, five galvanized nails. Links up copper wire down through. Now we read 99.99 DC volts. Alternating current 1.4. DC amps still very low. Galvanised fencing goes all around our garden, keeps docking. Where the hole's getting hedge. Volts AC, DC. Volts AC. Okay, and that's amps DC, and that may go up or down one or two, but as you see, it's really, really low. 